Hi, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to use Code Composer Studio to generate a binary file which can be programmed to an MSP430 microcontroller using a launch pad and a lightweight desktop application. Please note that this is coming right from TI's wiki page, which I'll put in the notes. Okay, so the first step is to create a binary file so that you can use it to burn the program to the chip. Now, you have to tell Code Composer Studio that you want to create a binary file. So you go into the properties, and in the build section under steps, there is apply a predefined step. You hit ti-text, you hit OK, that saves it. So now if I build this release, it will then output, there it is, dot text, and I'm actually going to rename this blinky underscore slow dot text. This is just the blinky example that TI lets you download or includes in the shipment. So that was a slow version that I just did. Let's speed up the rate of blinking, and then let's build another one. So right now I'm building two different versions. One that'll blink pretty quickly, and let me rename that to Blinky Fast. So now I've got two binary files that are as .txt files. One Blinky Slow .txt and one Blinky Fast. And you can use either of these. You can send it to anybody with a launch pad and a application to write the program and they can burn it easily. So the application that you can use to burn the chip with this binary file is called uh, what is it called there it is flash programmer it's a uh, light fat pro 430 so we use this to select first the code file and I've got we'll start with blinky fast you set the version of the chip which is an MSP 430 G 2553 and these just come with the MSP430 launch pad power device from the adapter all this stuff is okay you make all the settings okay and when you're ready you hit auto program and it takes flash there it is blinky underscore fast and you press reset and the program is running now if I wanted to burn the slow version, I go over here to the slow version, load this file. Thankfully I don't have to update any these settings, it's all the same. Hit program. Good. Reset. And now it's blinking slowly. So the whole thing worked. I'll show how the system works in real life, but this is all the software. Pretty easy, and uh, you'll be good to go. So back here in the real world with the MSP430 launch pad. I've got the Blinky Fast binary file ready queued up. I hit auto program and then reset. And there we have it blinking fast. Just as quickly I can change to the slow binary file. I press auto program. It goes through its paces. I hit reset. And there we have it blinking slow. Perfect. 